YouTube. What is good? It's your boy Q from Next Level Reaping, and I'm back with another video. First and foremost, I'd like to say thank you for all the love and support. I show do appreciate it. And with that being said, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you can be notified of every video that I drop, which is every single Friday. All right, so let's dive into it. So in today's episode of the Dream Tank Build, we're going to talk about my very first online experience of ordering livestock. So this is actually going to be a two-part video. So as I said before in my previous videos, I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So with that being said, you guys already know how I do. I take my time and I do my research. I do my research and I take my time. And with all the research I did, I came across three websites that sell livestock. There was Blue Zoo Aquatics, saltwaterfish.com, and then the most popular was liveaquaria.com. So between the three, Blue Zoo Aquatics was the least uh, popular and I can see why. So when you go into the website, um, their stock is extremely low. And not only that, but the prices are extremely high. I mean, for example, that Emperor Angel, the most I've seen it, and this is a show size, was maybe $300. They're talking about a whopping $450 to $700 on Blue Zoo Aquatics. Next, now with saltwaterfish.com, um, their stock count was a little better, but just like Blue Zoo Aquatics, their prices were outrageous to me. Um, so, on to the next one. Now, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. Even Live Aquarius website stock count was a little iffy, and their prices was just as iffy. But the flip side of that, they actually have more information to where you can watch videos to see other people's reviews. Um, they have more reviews on their website. And it was kind of 50-50 of the survival rate. Well, more than 50% of the survival rate of the shipments of the, uh, the animals that was coming from their website. So, so your boy went on ahead and took the plunge and ordered his very first uh, online fish. So, now here comes the ugly part. So today is the 29th of May. I ordered the fish on the 18th of May. Now, you know, because of the whole pandemic issue worldwide, there's been problems and issues, as you saw in my previous videos, of items being ordered and shipped and, you know, delayed and stuff like that. Cool, no problem. So the particular fish that I wanted for the Dream Tank, um, they actually had it in stock. And not only did they have it in stock, but they had it for sale. Now going back to the delivery part, as you can see, you know, they actually had, you know, modification um, notified information on their website about the whole issue that's been going on. So they were actually doing shipments um, through certain days. So if you ordered on a certain day of the week, it will be shipped on a certain day of the week. Now, as you guys remember, I said I ordered it on Monday the 18th. On that diagram, it shows that if you order it between Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the following day, which is Wednesday, it will be ordered within that same week. Now, Wednesday came and Wednesday went. No fish in the dream tank and as you guys can see i have no unboxing and review so now here comes <laughs> the transparency and the bad news so i give it another day guys i waited till thursday before i gave them a call so i gave them a call and i can't remember the customer service rep's name but the lady was extremely nice um and this was actually the day that I had purchased uh, another fish at my LFS. Um, so anyway, I gave him a call. Um, the customer service rep was very nice and polite. 
and you know she apologized so the the, the problem that happened was she said that the item was back ordered but there was a shipment that just came in within that same day and I'm on that list to receive it the, the next shipment so she asked me for the following week um, which day do I prefer for the item to be delivered and I said you know what it, it doesn't matter the sooner the better because I've been waiting since the 18th um, so she said okay so she said she put the notes in into my account and I thought everything was good from there but no there's more now let me just rewind for a second and show you guys um, the actual process of how this works and you can see how confused I was when she told me about the whole back order thing so when you go on the website um, you can clearly see that there's items that say they're in stock so when you select the items that are in stock you can um, either pick the size or you pick the size that you want and then you can pick its origin so whether it's from Fiji or Indonesia once you select it it goes into the cart and then you go on from there you place your order you put in your zip code and then you get calculated how much the shipping is going to be uh, charged extra for the item to be shipped out to you now when an item that says uh, put me on the email list as soon as you select it it says that it's out of stock so you can't even purchase it you can't even put it in the checkout you can't even be on a, a any type of back ordered list so when she told me that it was back ordered I was confused because in my eyes when I'm purchasing it and it says it in stock I purchased it it says it should be on its way so the problem with that was they need to do some sort of update saying you know um, if the item is back ordered or like if it's in stock but back order kind of like BRS so they actually have it to where you can select the item and it says back ordered but it'll be back in stock on let's just say May the 30th or whatever and it's like May the 18th so you can purchase it and it'll just once it's available and in stock then they'll ship it and then they'll give you a confirmation saying when they're going to ship the item out to you live aquarium didn't do that so fast forward to um this past thursday so i called again and talked to a different lady this time and this lady i don't know if you know somebody pooping her cornflakes but she wasn't as uh happy and and um and apologetic as uh, the other customer service reps. So anyway, so I talked to her and so I said, yeah, you know, I talked to a lady last week and I was supposed to have an item that I purchased on the 18th um, ship this week, but I haven't gotten anything. So I'm just trying to, you know, check the status, see what's going on. And guess what guys, she told me that it was back ordered again. And I said, wait, it was I was told the same thing last week, but I was guaranteed that because of it being back ordered last week that it was back in stock the same day that I called and they said it was back ordered and the items was should have been shipped um, this Wednesday. She said that we can't control the website when items are getting back ordered and you know it is back back ordered again and it's usually a first come for actually i don't even think she said it was a first come for a search she just kept saying about you know we can't control the website when items get back ordered and when they come back in stock so i was a little frustrated now i wasn't frustrated at the process because you know i used to work in customer service i know things happen you know especially with this whole thing that's going on you can't control some of the things where i was frustrated at was she didn't even have any sympathy as to what was going on um and you know I, i'm a i'm a first first foremost i'm a first time ever customer to your whole situation so with that being said my first experience was terrible because of you actually no let me take that back it was okay when i talked to the first lady you know she was very sympathetic she, apologetic you know um she she kind of informed me of what was going on but then when i called the next time you know it was an overpromised, undelivered uh, type situation, and the lady wasn't apologetic. She kind of had an attitude, and I almost wanted to, 
you know, cancel the order. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna see this thing through. And my pops always told me, you know, if there's somebody in customer service that, you know, isn't, isn't uh, apologetic or sympathetic or just has an attitude, just hang up and dial again and you'll get somebody else. So that's what I did. And I actually got the lady that I talked to last week and you know, she was very apologetic and she actually, you know, upgraded my order. So I, I, the first fish that I had was from Fiji, so it was a little cheaper, but then they had some Indonesians in stock. And from what I saw, the Indonesians are actually a little bit better than the Fiji ones. I, I don't know that to be for sure. That's just what I've seen as far as like the research. So, you know, she said, you can have that. And then she didn't quite guarantee but she said, you know, since it's Thursday, your next shipment won't be until Monday. And it is in stock. I can see it's in stock. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade your order. And then uh, Monday, it'll be shipped. And you should receive it on Tuesday. So I was like, you know what? I'm glad that I got you because I was really thinking about canceling my order because the last custom service rep, you know, had an attitude. She was telling me how they can't control uh, the website and the whole back order process. So I'm glad I talked to you and I wish I got her name, um, but I didn't get her name. So, so Miss Lady Ma'am, uh, show do per shate you. Thank you very much. Um, and you know, I just have to wait till next week. So that's why this uh, video is going to be a two part. Um, so hopefully next week, guys, I can give you my actual review of my first time ordering livestock online so let me know what you guys think um let me know what you guys would have did in in, in this, if you guys were in my situation um let me know if you guys actually ordered from live aquaria before and what your experiences was um and let's just keep this ball rolling guys and with that being said again make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified when i drop the video um like i said it's every single friday i appreciate y'all thank y'all and see you in the next one